Welcome to Free Academic English. I'm here at the Ignamir of Flores Library again. And today I'm going to talk to you about note-taking. Note-taking is an essential skill for learning anything. Let's imagine that you come here to the library and want to check on some books and you need to take notes. You need to know how to do it. There's a way. There are different ways, but I'm going to show you one that is the most popular. I'm going to leave you also links, links that explain this method, but that is going to be useful for both reading and listening when taking classes or when studying by yourself. So let's pretend that you have a book and you want to take notes. Why do you want to take notes? Because you need the most important information to stay with you. So you take a piece of paper and you divide it into two columns, a wider column and a narrower one. In the white part, you're going to take notes of the most important points that you're reading or listening. And then you can indent the examples of the detail or the details of those different points. And on the other column, the narrower one, you are going to put your thoughts, uh, your ideas, or uh, the main words or ideas about the lecture or the passage you are reading. And you do this until you complete, you almost complete the page, because at the bottom of the page, you are going to write a summary of what you already took notes on. That way, you will really um, make the most out of, out of the material you have. For um, a lecture, you need a page for about a five-minute lecture, more or less, which is uh, the time that lectures last also for exams that when you hear two academic topics. And for reading, it really depends on the kind of material you're reading. Maybe if you're reading uh, just for pleasure, you want to write about the main facts that happened. This is all to improve your English and to improve the understanding of what you're reading. Or if it's an informational passage, uh, it will be easier because you will see in the text uh, which are the main points, so you can summarize them in the, in the notes that you're taking. Something very important about taking notes, it's not to write complete sentences, but taking notes is just writing phrases or words that will make you recall later what you heard or read so you can write a good summary. The text in the notes is just phrases and words. But after you look at them, you reflect on them by writing on the left side of your paper, you will write a complete summary, well written with sentences. That is where you use sentences when you have the time, not while you are reading or listening. So you can use this for uh, when you, for example, have to go to a library and you cannot take out the books or you don't want to take the books home, but you can make the most out of those books by taking notes. Not only books, but also some uh, material that is for listening that is going to help you with your listening skills and then with your summarizing skills that are is extremely important, summarizing. And that way you're gonna practice summarizing too. You're summarizing what everything that is in that page in just one paragraph. There's another skill that might help you become a better note taker. Because some people write slowly, uh, some people don't, so they don't have a problem. Anyways, uh, short handwriting is it is, it's a very, very, very 
very very very useful tool and that is going to help you write what you want to say without using so many uh, characters however to learn uh, short handwriting you need to have an intermediate almost advanced level of English because most short handwritings uh, focus on uh, the, the sounds of the words so that way you write them. So if your level is lower than that it makes it difficult for you to even get the, um, the short forms of the words but you can create your own short forms of words and that is gonna make your note taking a lot faster like when you are writing uh, common words or common endings you can just invent symbols for those common words and those common endings and you know what they mean but all of these requires practice so that's your part go and practice